This is a short clip from today's podcast episode. Right, A lot of people prefer to text message businesses today, especially if they're just looking to send an appointment. Right, So are you offering a text option on your website? Is there someone in your office who can receive and quickly reply to those text messages? Or do you have an automated acknowledgement and instant reply text setup already in place? Right, So they're coming in by phone. They're coming in by text. They want to come in by text. Are you able to offer it? And if you are, are you offering it? Right. Next up is web chat. Right. So people get to a site, usually lower right corner, little icon down there, click on it. You can type in. Some are bots that are just FAQs, but what we're talking about is live person web chat. Right. So those tools are out there. About, according to data out there, about 35% of website visitors are seeking to have a conversation in that web chat with a live person on your staff. Right. So some of those web chat communication systems allow for it to come across to you as a text and then reply as a text. So that's really handy. Once again, only use this if someone in your staff, if not you, can read and reply to these messages within one minute. Going back to our reply stats, right? So people call, they text, they'd like to use web chat. Can you offer it? Are you offering it? Is there somebody there in your organization to be able to deal with it and answer instantly, right? So don't open up a communication channel if your staff cannot communicate through that channel quickly within less than one minute. That should be the yardstick. Okay, the other communication method is website forms or online ad lead forms. So if you're running Google Ads to a landing page or your website, hopefully, again, there's a call tracking number there. You can identify what ad they came from, but also the form, right? So there's a hopefully a lead form on that page customized just for that service, and it would have its own custom thank you page so you could measure the conversion. But where are those forms coming? They're usually coming by email. So where are those forms coming to in your organization? and What's in place to be able to reply within one minute? Let's use that one minute as our goal. So are you able to do that? And if not, how can you improve upon it? I think also in episode number 100, we said one of the data sources said something like the average response time to a lead was like 37 hours. So again, after five minutes, you lose 80%. After 37 hours, I don't know how many is left. Hardly anybody, right? So that's unacceptable. So you can't have a lead come in for your website by email, and then you don't look at it until the end of the day or something like that. So where do the website forms come to? And if you're running Facebook lead uh, lead form ads or Google lead forms and, and search ads, same problem, right? So where are they coming to? How can they be responded to within one minute? And making sure you even see them, right? So those are the four communication channels that prospects can use to contact your company. It's the four that they want to, right? In the old days, it was just a phone, maybe mail, snail mail. Today, you got phone, text, web chat, website forms, lead forms. Now, the more of these channels you offer, the greater your potential for lead generation from the same dollars you're already spending. 